hi everyone welcome back new video um so the last couple of days it's actually now wednesday and the last couple of days i've been blogging or vlogging god i'm so confused like little bits and pieces of the days i kind of have been like busy enough to be honest like not crazy busy but just with videos and like other work and stuff and then i've squeezed in a few like appointments that i had to do so i did my driving test um, not my driving test, like I had to just go renew my driving license. So I did that in Trilly and then I had to get an eye test for that a couple of days before. And then I also got my nails done. They were gone crazy. If you have, you probably noticed them in the other videos. I just did like a little French manicure top up with a girl called Charlotte Kemp in Killarney. It was actually Kaylin that used to go to her before when I think she used to work in a different salon and now she's kind of gone out on her own. So I went into her on Monday. And I did them, so they're so much better. It went a little bit shorter because the other ones just grew out very fast. So I figured I'd get them short so they'd last a bit longer. I should get about four weeks out of these, which are great. They're gel, even though they look really natural, which I love. And then yesterday, I went into my friend Cloda. She is like a skincare like expert <laughs> here in Kerry. And she works with Beacon Face and Dermatology, which are mainly, I think, in Dublin. But she's opened a clinic for them in Tralee. So I went in and I did like a full skin check. You know I'm obsessed with skincare. So I wanted to just like run all the products I've been using by her and like some new ones I started using this year. And she did like did a full look at my skin. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. And I also got a few new products. She's um she stocks like skin skinceuticals, so I topped up on a few of my favorites. This is actually one I really love. It's called um Flaritin, Flaritin CF, and it helps with like pigmentation. And it's like, I think it's like a vitamin C, she was saying. They have like two types of vitamin C, but she said that this one would be better for my skin. So, actually, the last time I went to her was the first time I bought it, and then this is my second time now topping up. So, you just pop it on in the morning, and it kind of smells a little bit weird. I'm not gonna lie, but SkinCeuticals are a brand that like they don't put their money into fragrance and making things like look nice, they really put their money into like the science behind things and making sure that the products actually work. So, yeah, I really recommend this. It's good for pigmentation, it's like a vitamin C brightening really really like it so i got that and then i also stocked up on my favorite i actually kind of described this as botox in a bottle like this just plumps out your skin it's a hyaluronic serum ha intensifier and it's brilliant i pop that on in the morning as well sometimes at night but cloda told me that it's actually better to do it in the morning um you don't want it to be you don't want to kind of like have this on when it's too hot because it won't work so say sometimes if you go to bed and if it's too hot it actually won't work so it's better if you go pop it on just before you go out for a fresh air walk or something like that so i really like that and then i'm going to try retinol again so the last time i met cloda she told me to start retinol so i got it and i started using it last year in new york and i gave up because it kind of made my skin break out which does happen but i'm gonna give it a go again i got a new one because i'd opened the other one and i think it's probably gone off at this stage so yeah i'm gonna try this retinol 0.3 so yeah that's been my last couple of days other than that we've gone for lots of walks um mom ken and i went to ross bay a couple of times actually we've kind of gone down there most days i'll pop in some cliffs it's been so nice down there and it's just so nice to be back in the fresh air and i don't know it just feels like really healthy and then we've just been chilling at home <laughs> to be honest like i did warn you that these vlogs might be the most exciting like i'm trying to vlog as much as i can anything exciting that we do but really we're just at home chilling like taking it easy but today i have an idea so i put on my instagram story Yesterday I said, you know, we're six vlogmases in, we have about six to go, all going well. And I said, what do you want to see? Because, like, I want to be putting out content that you actually enjoy, like, not just, like, the same old, same old. So for the next six videos, I'm going to try and bring in some kind of fun stuff. And the most <laughs> requested things of everything were more of my mom, more of her, like, tips and like house stuff and all that and then also cooking people want to see more like irish food and ideas and stuff so for today's video i figured i would my mom's free for a couple of hours she has to go somewhere soon so we hopefully and hopefully won't take too long but she's free and she agreed to do some cooking so she loves cooking like 
adores it and is so so good at it like give her a recipe and she'll just have no problem like banging it out basically so there's a restaurant in new york called carbone i went there for my birthday this year and it's one of their dishes also kind of went viral on tiktok this year it's called their spicy vodka rigatoni or vodka spicy yeah something in that um combination but basically it's a pasta dish it's a vodka sauce it's a little bit spicy and it is absolutely divine so mom made it for us a couple of days ago and wow it was incredible it was quite spicy like she loves spicy food so i think she went maybe a tiny bit overboard with spiciness so we're going to do it again today and we're going to really perfect it and i figured i would probably won't be doing much of the cooking let's be real but i'll film her and we'll talk through it and it's a really quick and easy dish to make and you don't need that much ingredients it's very filling it's very rich it's a real like indulgent kind of dish so i figured i'd film it today and show you okay we are set up when i say we <laughs> we know well who has set this up but we're all set up so i'm just chopping up some of the ingredients yeah and she's going to talk you through now exactly what you need for this dish and then i'll film like cooking the whole thing okay cooking with helena so she's going to talk us through all the ingredients so today we're making spicy vodka rigatoni <laughs> we've tried this three times now <laughs> okay spicy vodka rigatoni yeah uh, rigatoni I'll is the pasta the we're right. using Okay, so for two people, we need a half pound of rigatoni. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to dice half a red onion. Okay. Uh, we're going to dice one clove of garlic, very, very small. Then we're going to uh, include a tablespoon of oregano, a half a tablespoon of black pepper, half a tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of chilies, and we need approximately half an ounce of uh, tomato paste. Okay. We need half a cup of double cream, and we need a half a cup of parmesan shaves. We need some vodka, usually about a third of a cup for two people, some olive oil for cooking, and we top it off then with basil. So yeah, that's kind of everything that you need, but I will say mom's kind of the type of cook that doesn't go exactly no, right. I'm a little bit generous, especially when it comes to the cream and the cheese and the vodka. <laughs> okay. And it did taste nice. Maybe a bit too generous on the chili flakes though. Well, yeah, maybe a little bit too much chili flakes. We might do a bit less chili flakes. Okay, a little bit yeah. less, yeah. Um, but it does need to be a little bit spicy, like that's the dish, but mm -hmm. just obviously still like edible. Okay. So I'll like film each step now while mom's doing it and I'll try and write in the screen and everything just to make it as simple as possible. Like I think I could even do this, <laughs> which means you could definitely do it and then we'll show you the end result. Okay, so we're using approximately three tablespoons of olive oil. Now we'll measure it just to make sure. It's not so too oily. never usually measures that. I don't <laughs> usually measure, to be honest, but just to make sure. Now that oil has to heat up nicely before we add in our uh, onions and garlic and spices. In the meantime, I'm going to put on my rigatoni, so to leave, let that boil, because that takes um, to take a good five minutes because you don't want it really hard. You want it nice, nicely cooked. And a big secret is to add a lot of salt to the water because gives it a good taste. I have a tripod but it's not really working so apologies if it's crooked. I'm trying. Okay so how are we doing now? Okay we're doing okay. Um, I'm just waiting for the oil to heat up now and then I'm going to add the spices. So are we ready to add the spices? Already? Yeah fire away. Okay. Oh I should probably go closer for this one sec. So I'm adding the spices to the oil and I'm turning down the heat because I don't want the spices to burn. So it's kind of medium. So what heat? Uh, I started off heating the oil really hot but now I'm turning it down to medium to low. Okay. Because I don't want the spices to burn. Just to make sure that it's fully covered with water. You might even add boiling water so that should add another little bit. Let it dry up fully. It takes about maybe six minutes. In the meantime, all your spices are cooking and we're going to add in the paste. Mix all this in together with all your spices. and 
the pasta is cooking nicely to make sure that it gets nice and soft. So I'm going to turn off the heat on this for the moment until the pasta is fully cooked. Now, another secret, when the pasta is fully cooked, when we drain the water from it, mm -hmm. we're going to hold the water back because that when the whole dish is finished, we will emulsify the whole dish with maybe a half a cup of water from the, the pasta, pasta water. Sauce, the pasta water. Okay, so save the pasta water. Save the pasta water because you're going to need a half a cup. So we'll just remove this from the heat for a moment and we'll push it aside and we'll wait for the pasta to finish. Okay, so we're just waiting for it to cook now. Mom, um, a few people were asking if you have your Christmas table set. Have I the Christmas table set? Yes, yeah. of course I have the Christmas table set. <laughs> I'll show you a little sneak peek. This is how it is looking. Beautiful as ever. I think it's pretty similar to last year. We just keep everything and she puts them out again year after year. I love the little holly and the, and the plates and stuff. And of course, name settings. <laughs> so nice. Okay, so the pasta is done. We've strained it, and then where's are we keeping the water? We're keeping the water underneath, right? Yeah. So keep this. I actually never knew this tip, but keep it makes such water. a difference. So now I've strained. That's why it's important to put some salt in it because if you think about it, what you're keeping really is nice salted water. Yeah. So now you have your pasta strained. Mm -hmm. So all you're going to do now is add that the saucepan, right? Okay. Straight in, sink. Simple and easy. And then simple and easy, you just mix it around and just as you're doing that, you add your parmesan flakes. And again, you don't have to be too particular about the measurement there because, you know, it's nice to make it nice and gooey. So you just make sure that all the pasta gets covered with the sauce. The color is looking so different on camera, but it's like this really rich, like orange. It's kind of kind of color. Red. It's kind of like a it needs to be kind color. Of orangey red color. Mm -hmm. Now this is when we add a half cup of approximately half a cup. Just add it in right around and mix it all together. This shows the color way better over here. Oh, looks so good. Make sure all the spices come from the pan onto the dish. And like this serves too, but like it is quite rich. It doesn't even look like that much food, but like me and Tommy made this over as well in New York and we were stuffed from this amount. Now what you can do is decorate it slightly with a tiny, tiny little tinge of basil. Mm -hmm. Now when I say tiny, it's just for decoration and it's optional, but some people do. Just a little bit, just more for decoration rather than anything. It gives a nice little. Now, that's it. And ready to serve with some garlic bread. Here. Okay. So quick, so easy. Okay, I could literally do that and that's saying something. Yeah. Done. Okay, so what would you say, how long altogether? Well, I suppose overall, if you have everything, if you prepare your ingredients, it takes maybe about 10 minutes. But the secret yeah. is to have your rigatoni boiling at the same time as you're doing your uh, spices and um, mm -hmm. pan work. Because otherwise you're going to end up waiting for the rigatoni because the rigatoni yeah. takes about 8 minutes in boiling water and get it nice and soft. Don't leave it, don't leave the rigatoni hard. Yeah. Get it nice like and soft. We could have probably started the rigatoni earlier, but we I was just trying to show you everything on the video, but yeah. you could have the rigatoni started before you even start doing the yeah. spices and the yeah. onions and all that, but yeah. it's so it's good. Just do it all together in unison. We're gonna, gonna taste a little bit now to see how it is. Will I do a bit of a taste yeah. test? Yeah. We'll see if it's more spicy or yeah. less spicy. <laughs> less spicy. Like, do you know the way we love Indian food? Like, we love spicy food, so mom has every spice under the sun. Are you gonna taste that? I will. You taste it first. Different folk. Oh my god, way better. Is it? Yeah. That's spicy? Mm hmm. Okay, let's see. It's still spicy, but like it's not like burning your mouth spicy. Mm, delicious. Mm hmm. What do you think? Mm, if I may say so myself. <laughs> really good. Right. So good. So yeah, quick and easy recipe. 
And I can write the details down below as well. So it's easier for you to follow. And there's loads of recipes online like TikTok, Google, just Google Carbone spicy rigatoni recipe and you'll get loads and loads of options. But that's just our little version. Just spent a few hours on my computer after our little cooking <laughs> demo this morning and now one of the last things on my to-do list today is to get all my wrapping and Christmas cards done. I want to just be organized and um, this is actually the most organized I've ever been. Usually it's a couple of days before Christmas so I have a few different type of, let me turn around. I have a few different wrapping paper options and I have my gifts all in this but I don't want to show you too much because in case any of my friends or family watch. So hopefully I'll get through this pretty quick, not gonna lie. Wrapping is not my favorite thing in the world to do, but at least I'll have it done out of the way then. Okay, job done. Presents wrapped under the tree. Um, I had all gold and silver bags, but I ran out, so I have one red. <laughs> but that'll be going to my friend this weekend. So I think I thought of everyone. I probably will think of a few more now over the next few days, but yeah, job done. So I'm staying in for the night, finishing this edit so I can get it live for you, but somebody is going out. I'll show you what she's wearing. Mom's going for her annual just local dinner with her friends. Um, and she's wearing the Waverly, I'll show you. Give us a twirl, mother. <laughs> show us the Waverly. That's so nice. Oh, it looks lovely. Aren't these pants cool? They're from Zara. They're like a leather wide leg. Nice. Kaylin would love them too. Yeah, they are nice. I like them. Really nice. And I'm going to give her. I'm going to borrow your coat. My faux fur. She really likes the coat. Oh, it's beautiful. Honest. It's nice on you. It's lovely. I know, I love that coat. Yeah, it's so good. So I'm going to get back to editing. <laughs> Accidentally forget it when you're going back. <laughs> so, my plan now is to finish this video. Little Vogue's here with me. It's actually the first time since we've been home that I'm here on my own for five minutes or 20 minutes because um, we've all just been home the whole time, which has been so nice. But Kel had to go into Clarion to do, I think she was going to the dentist and then she was just going to go to David's after Joey's with her. And then my dad's just dropping my mom in to meet her friends and that's like the first time she's gone out with her friends I'd say in months because obviously they're in lockdown and stuff and since we've been back we've all been at home most evenings so yeah it's kind of weird having the place to myself but at least I get this video done now I have most of it already edited I just have to add in the last few clips I talk and then I'll get this live today tonight so it's very in the moment <laughs> and then tomorrow I was half thinking that I had this idea earlier because I was gonna do it anyway for myself. So I kind of want to go through the clothes I have at home with me now and just like plan some outfits for over Christmas. Like maybe think about what I might wear on Christmas day or if I do go for like one or two dinners with my friends, like I'll get those outfits kind of organized. Like, you know, just to have some outfits planned. And I was thinking it could be helpful if I show you because a lot of my things are very classic and staple. So I'm sure lots of you would have similar things. So maybe I could give you some ideas um of things you could maybe put together if you're looking for a few new christmas outfits or you're just looking to kind of use what you have which you know i'm a big advocate of and like things like a black blazer like how to style it around this time of the year you know that kind of vibe so i could show you five or six outfits i put together i'll try them on and maybe give you some ideas so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that and then i'll be like vlogging as normal throughout the weekend i really don't have any plans i know it's the first weekend you can travel county to county in Ireland which is exciting but we are going to stay in Kerry we might go to Cork for one night next week I'm just seeing if I can actually have time and pull it off but this weekend we're going to just stay in Kerry and I'm going to meet two of my friends for a walk on Saturday which is really nice and yeah it'd be nice to catch up with them and like it's actually I think walks are such a great way to meet people this Christmas like I definitely will do you know one or two dinners 
and like have a few little treats like that but I think where I can and catching up with people I'm definitely going to ask them to come for a walk or like grab a to-go coffee and walk around Clarny or like um you know go to one of the parks or something because a it's like the safer option definitely and b at least it'll kind of keep us a little bit active <laughs> in between all the eating so that's my plan for the weekend so I'll vlog the whole weekend and I'll keep you updated on everything and let me know if you want to see the fashion video kind of like the out Christmas outfit video tomorrow I can fill in that first thing and that'll go live Friday and yeah that's it I hope you enjoyed this one I'm gonna go eat some of the pasta now for dinner and let me know if any of you try that recipe it's really really good and if you want my mom and me kind of helping um to try more things Kiln's actually really good as well she just wasn't here today she was gone to the dentist so if you want us to try more stuff let us know as well and we can do more so thanks as always for watching be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying vlogmas subscribe if you haven't already really really helps my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye